Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to Last Witness to President Abraham Lincoln Assassination. I've got a secret. And, um... Yeah, wait, what? Samuel Seymour is the last living eyewitness to the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln at Ford's Theatre in Washington, D.C. Was the mystery guest on the February 8, 1956 episode of the I've Got a Secret Game show, Mr. Seymour... March 28, 1860 to April 12, 1956, was actually 95 years of age at the time of this appearance instead of 96. Okay, this is going to be a real interesting one then. So he was there to actually witness it happen in person. Madness. Okay, this is, this is a different type of reaction, but this was suggested through Patreon. And again, when people have their Patreon ranks, I like to get their sort of reactions done again sometimes i can't do the reaction sometimes i can only post them on patreon sometimes i can post them on youtube but yeah we're here with it this will be a very very interesting one though i'm intrigued to see what he says but yeah let's jump into this hopefully go into enjoy thank you for, for the support on the patreon if this is able to go into youtube links are in the description to the patreon because this will be posted a lot earlier on there as opposed to a lot of other videos that may get blocked on youtube so i have to post them there but yeah man let's get into this one <laughs> I've got a secret. I would like to go over and personally escort our next guest on the show tonight. There you go. Now then, sir. Will you tell our panel, please? Let's get in a little closer. Do you mind if I pull you in, sir? There we go. Will you tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? My name's Samuel J. Seymour. I'm from Maryland. This is Mr. Seymour. I'm from Maryland. And we brought Mr. Seymour yeah, all the way up from Maryland, and by golly, he got in a hotel and fell down the steps and gave himself a shiner. Oh, wow. And uh, we urged him not to come on the show tonight, as a matter of fact, and finally got in touch with his doctor, and the doctor said it was up to Mr. Seymour. Mr. Seymour said he wouldn't miss it. So here he is. Shout out. Feeling apart. Oh, yeah. Now then, Mr. Seymour, uh, how old are you, by the way, sir? Ninety-six. Ninety-six years old. <laughs> now, sir, if you'll whisper your secret to me, I'm sure the folks at home would like to know what it is. That is pretty crazy, man. Well, now to help pass so by his secret, I will tell you a concern what, something five years old? that he witnessed. <clears throat> and Bill Cullen, we'll start with you. <clears throat> something mm -hmm. that he saw, something he saw happen. This thing that Mr. Seymour saw, does it uh, have uh, historical significance? Uh, does this have historical significance, Mr. Seymour? I would say yes, wouldn't you, sir? Mm -hmm. I can't hear him very good. You have to tell me what Yeah, there's quite a distance between our desks here. Let's uh, all speak up, huh? Does it, have, uh, does it have political significance? It had political significance at the time. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, if you're 96, that would make Mr. Seymour born. Is this a show that I've got a secret? It was just like a, sort of a show back in the day that was sort of like they had to guess what their secret what was. Now? 1860. 1860. Hey, Henry is such a mathematician. Yeah. He's been writing over there all the time. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, this thing, did it have anything to do with the uh, Civil War, Mr. Seymour? Uh, no, it had not to do with the Civil War. Well, uh, let's say indirectly it was concerned with the Civil War. Did it, all right, an answer? Mm -hmm. did it concern a famous person in, uh, in American history, a very well-known person? Did it concern a famous person, Mr. Seymour? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, would it help me to know who this person was? <laughs> he wants to know if it would help him to know who this person was, and he has to know who that is, yes. Uh, was this man, uh, did this man hold political office? Did this man hold political office, sir? Yes. yes. $20 down and $60 to go, and we go to Jane Meadows. McKinley. Mr. Seymour. <laughs> Henry is being his usual help. It's so interesting to see, like, game shows from, like, 70 years ago it's so interesting i mean i know this isn't even what this whole thing's what well, it is kind of about like seeing what it's like but i know it's more about like the actual secret but 
it is kind of wild seeing just how like game shows or whatever like quiz shows were like helpful self by whispering to jane mckinley and i'm not listening <laughs> mr seymour would this person have ever been president of the united states was he ever president this man oh, i think he was once would he it was. have been abraham lincoln it was abraham lincoln yes you witnessed something to do with abraham lincoln was this a pleasant thing was it a pleasant thing you saw, sir? Not very pleasant, I don't think. I no. was scared to death, so. <laughs> you said no, he was scared to death. Would it have had anything to do with uh, the President Lincoln's death, by any mm -hmm. chance? Unfortunately, yes. Did Mr. Seymour witness the shooting of President Lincoln? <laughs> about Mr. Seymour through a recent article in the American Weekly and it said, I saw Lincoln shot. And this article is by Samuel J. Seymour. And it goes on to say that Mr. Seymour was five years old at the time. He had been taken to Ford's Theater by some good friends. And the curious thing was that in the, when he was, in, in this youth, five years of age, when he saw Booth jump from the box to the stage, at which time he broke his leg, his only concern was not for the president, because he didn't realize that the president had been shot but the poor man who fell out of the balcony. And that's all of his memory is of going to the theater and seeing a man fall out of the balcony. Sir, it's been a great joy and uh, you might say an honor to have you are, by the way, the only living witness oh, of that no, no. tragic event. And we are certainly going to forfeit the complete $80 to you just for your courage in coming here to see us tonight. The following is an excerpt from the article about Mr. Seymour mentioned in the clip. Mr. Seymour was accompanied to Ford's theatre by his nurse, Sarah Cook, and by Miss Colesborough and the wife of the father's employer. Okay, I'm going to move my camera. Miss Colesborough pointed directly across the, the theatre, across the theatre to a colourfully draped box. See those flags, Sammy? She asked, that's where President Lincoln will sit when he finally did come in. She lifted me up high so I could see. He was a tall, stern-looking man. I guess I just thought he was looking stern because of his whiskers, because he was smiling and waving to the crowd. When everyone sat down again and the actors started moving and talking, I began to get over the scared feeling I'd had ever since we arrived in Washington, but that was, that was something I never should have done. All of a sudden, a shot rang out, a shot that. <laughs> See, I've read this. Will I move my camera? I mean, I just read it. <laughs> I'd scared feeling Washington should have done. All of a sudden, as well. Words. So, if you want, you can pause that last one just to sort of see it. Always will be remembered, and someone in the president's box screamed. I saw Lincoln slumped forward in his seat. People started milling around, and I thought there'd been another accident when one man seemed to tumble over the balcony rail and land on the stage. Is that what happened during when it ha like when he was shot? I didn't know that. That's something that I've just learned. Hurry, hurry, let's go and help the poor man who fell down. I both. But by that time, John Wilkes Booth, the assassin, had picked himself up and was running for dear life. So he went. Oh, mad. So we saw him running away. He wasn't caught until 12 days later when he was tracked down to a barn where he was hiding. Again, pause it then if you want to read it. Can you see this one? No. Only a few people noticed the running man, but the pandemonium broke loose in the theatre with everyone shouting, Lincoln's shot, the president's dead. Mr. Gold Goldsboro swept me up into her arms and held me close and somehow we got outside the, the theatre. That night I was shot 50 times at least in my dreams. Oh wow, and I sometimes still relive the horror of Lincoln's assassination. So he's, brought, as a five year old, yeah that must be fucking, like so frightening. And you don't even fully know what's actually happened even at that point. So I mean, yeah, god damn. Dozing in my rocker as an old codger like me is bound to do. And I mean, yeah, the link to the article is in the description below. This is one crazy ass story. 
I didn't think I'd see anything like this, but yeah, Patreon suggestion. Thank you for suggesting this to me. Something completely different, and it also it was also interesting just to see sort of like the, again like how game shows or quiz shows were back in the days. If he lived for seven more years, he would have he would have been alive for every U.S. president assassination. Dude fell down the stairs and gave himself a black eye at ninety five years of years old and still went on a game show to tell them that he was the last and only witness to Lincoln's assassination legend. Yeah, shout out to him, man. Was this a pleasant thing you saw, Mr. Seymour? Not very pleasant, I don't think. Well, that's one way to put it. That's like someone witnessing JFK's assassination and being interviewed in 2050. Then that interview being shown. Oh my, that has baffled me. That's like someone witnessing JFK's assassination and being interviewed in 2050. Then that interview being shown in 2119. 2119. I can't say that right. God damn, 2119. Did I say 2100 and... How did I say it? 2119, that's how you should say it. Isn't it? I don't even know. 2119, 2020, 2119. That is unreal though. That's literally in 99 years time. Fuck. That has baffled me, man. What a way to put it, man. Shout out to that comment. That's like blown my mind. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. More more reactions like this please i like these sort of historical ones that are so sort of just out there like completely different to what i usually see but god damn they do show some real insight of what goes on in this world but yeah until next time like subscribe peace